Hi guys, today using one of our best code continuous inkjet printers, we're going to be talking about the event log. So in order to get to the event log guys, we're going to go ahead from the home screen and hit service. From service, we're going to hit the event log. Okay, so now we're at the event log. So the events, when we open up the event log, the event log tracks all faults, stops, starts, it gives an overview of scripts that the system has executed. This includes viscosity control ads and smart fill ads. You can use these arrows on the side to arrow up and down and we can see different things that we have in our logs. Okay? Then we're going to talk about viscosity. So viscosity, we can go ahead and hit viscosity. This opens up the viscosity log. The viscosity log tracks the viscosity of the machine, provides information of exact viscosity, and when makeup was added to the ink tank through viscosity add. So here we're talking our, what time it happened, the date, our target, our actual, our fall time trend, our measuring state, and our action. Next, we can go to phase. When we open up the phase log, the phase log tracks the phase point width, quality, accuracy, and the threshold of every minute used to diagnose phase faults. So here again, you can see the threshold, our PSI, viscosity, voltage, temperature, all that is right here. We get into remote. When we open up the remote log, this logs all the data sent via a remote command used to verify that data sent to the printer via Ethernet or serial matches what was received by the printer. Now we could go to SmartFill, guys. When we open up the SmartFill log, this logs whenever ink levels change, logs when ink and makeup tanks are low, and also when ink and makeup is added to the system. As you can see here, it talks about all that. Then when we go into filter, when we open up the filter log, we, we uh, log the filtered life. When the filter hits less than 250 hours remaining, when filtered life expired, and when the new filter was installed. And then reset. I'm not going to hit that because it's specific to each log. It deletes all logs entries. When on stop, specific to each log, stops the printer from adding new data entries to the active log. Stop should be disabled on remote log when running at high data transfer rates. And when we start it, specific to each log, it starts the printer from adding new data entries to the active log. And last but not least is save. So if we had our USB thumb drive in the USB port inside here, we could save all the data from each one of these. And I'm just gonna to go to Viscosity to talk about it. So again, if you would save all the data and you could uh, take the USB stick out of here now and put it into your computer or your laptop and you can upload that and you would be able to email that file to me now as a technician for best code in case I asked you uh, for that file. You could either take a picture or you could just, again, thumb drive it and save all that information and upload it and send it to me. And by me having all this information, I could pretty much look at all this and figure out where, when, and why you're having an issue with your continuous inkjet printer from Best Code. But that's how we use the event log, guys. Thank you very much.